to another JY Dog video. And what we're doing today is we're taking these one inch body lift pucks and swapping out the three inch body lift pucks. I don't like the big three inch body lift. Um, if you were like to hit something really sharp, there's a lot of leverage on these and it's, it's just not good. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably pretty cool when you're putting an engine in that doesn't belong in here. It gives you a lot of extra space to work with, but um, I've used these in the past, and I'm going to go back with them. These are like $8 a piece, and I went to Tractor Supply and picked up a bunch of bolts that they sell really cheap there. These are grade 5. These are the originals. You can tell there's a big difference. So, yeah. Going to go ahead and swap these out and uh, do the old man thing and lower the Jeep instead of raising it. <laughs> Let's kind of give you an example of how this goes together. Got a little rubber boot on the bottom. Replacement, well, yeah, just like that. Spacer goes in between here, and this goes right up through here. Screws into the bottom. All right, so everything's slightly bolted up, and take the pressure off. And we are down to a one inch lip now. Much better. It just looks better. And I feel better. Like if we were to hit something, you don't have as much leverage with the body shifting on the frame as you do with a like a three inch body lift. So, uh, yeah, spend a little money on that, but I think it was worth it. Looks way better. Uh, new revelation. This is an O3 Tahoe harness, which is dry by wire. And the computer I got is only dry by wire. It's a P59, and there's some P59s that will do dry by cable, which is what my engine is. But this is dry by wire, and it doesn't have the drivers, it didn't have the chip in here that allows it to uh, do a drive-by cable. There are some of these that do have the chip on there and you'll have to you know, look at the numbers and I'll try to post those. Uh, there's a guy out there who does an excellent job, is Driveway Engineer, I think that's his uh, website. Anyway, oh, full of information for GM stuff and uh, excellent source. And go watch his videos if you're doing this because like, that's what I'm doing. Here is the drive-by cable P59 ECU, which I want to go with. And this has got the one meg RAM in it, or memory. There's a 512 and there's a, the 512s are the P11s. I think that's what they are, or 411s, something like that. And this, this yeah, they're 411s and this is the P59, which is the little bit newer and it um, will do both drive by wire and drive by cable. So hopefully that works. This one doesn't look like it wants to clear. Be very iffy. Okay, so 
I'll take the exhaust manifolds on because it's not going to work with the ones I had. And I've got a couple of studs that are broke off. I did that one. That one was already broke off. These, looks like I can get to them pretty easy. Uh, the other side, however, they broke right up below the surface. So I think I'm going to have to try to weld. I've got one here and then one over here. I'm going to have to weld a nut on there or something to see if I can get them out. Got to be really careful. I've never done that before on an aluminum head, but they tell me it's easy. So, oh, anyway, something else to do. Also hope I didn't fry anything in my transmission electronics, <laughs> but we'll find out. Oops. That didn't work. Dang it. I don't know what the secret is, man. So, I just saw somebody doing it with, they didn't use the nut, they just used the weld on it and built the weld up. So I'm going to attempt that and see if I can get it out. It's not clean enough, so I'm going to try So that's what it looks like. Yay. First time for everything, I guess. All right, so took the manifolds off and um, they're ready for headers and what I found out is that Camaro let's see I think 2010 to 2013 I want to say um, LS3 Camaro headers from an SS are the perfect fit and they're supposed to like you know fit really tight to the block and avoid the um, uh, engine mounts so I ordered a set of those, some that hadn't been run for their like takeoffs. I looked out and found them on eBay. So I'm reading on the forum. There's a there's a group out there I have to show you that uh, does LS swaps on Facebook. It's something like TJYJ um, LS swaps or something like that. But it's a great group. Got some some information in there and find out what's been working and what hasn't. I was going to try to use these stock mounts to see if I could make, you know, mounts, but they are not going to work out. Um, and I thought about fabricating my own, but it's so particular about how this thing has to go in here. Um, there's a, I think it's called Dave, David's Customs or Dave Customs. I'll, I'll put a link in the video. But um, they have a set of mounts specifically made for putting LS engines in um, TJs. 
and they've had really good reviews. People, you know, have used them before. So I went ahead and ordered a set of those. Um, I think it's just a smart decision to make. And uh, let's see. I'm going to yank this thing back out of here because I know that these four-cylinder mounts have got to be uh, cut off. And I'm going to remove the old, uh, the old mounts, get everything ready for the new stuff. And, um, yeah, making some progress. I gotta, I gotta keep the momentum up. I wanna get this thing running. Have it ready by summer. That's the goal. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.